Parakat is the trade name for N, Na Euro squared dimethyl 4, 4 Euro squared bipredinium dichloride, is the organic compound with the formula, C5H4N, 2, Cl2. It is classified as a viologen, a family of redox active heterocycles of similar structure. This salt is one of the most widely used herbicides. It is quick acting and non selective, killing green plant tissue on contact. It is also toxic to human beings and animals. It is linked to development of Parkinson's disease. The name is derived from the power positions of the quarter euro urinary nitrogens. A variety of related compounds are used in textiles. Production Pyridine is coupled by treatment with sodium amide followed by oxidation. The resulting 4, 4 bipyridine, which is then methylated with chloromethane to give the desired compound. History Although first synthesized in 1882, Paracart's herbicidal properties were not recognized until 1955. Paracart was first manufactured and sold by ICI in early 1962, and is today among the most commonly used herbicides. The European Union approved the use of Paracart in 2004 but Sweden, supported by Denmark, Austria, and Finland, appealed this decision. In 2007, the court annulled the directive authorizing Paracart as an active plant protection substance stating that the 2004 decision was wrong in finding that there were no indications of neurotoxicity associated with Paracart and that the studies about the link between Paracart and Parkinson's disease should have been considered. Herbicide use, the key characteristics that distinguish the non-selective contact herbicide Paracart from other active ingredients used in plant protection products are, it kills a wide range of annual grasses and broad-leaved weeds and the tops of established perennial weeds. It is very fast-acting. It is rain-fast within minutes of application. It is partially inactivated upon contact with soil. These properties led to paracart being used in the development of no-till farming. Current research into no-till farming using mulching techniques as a substitute for herbicide application are producing good results. In the United States, paracart is available primarily as a solution in various strengths. It is classified as restricted use, which means that it can be used by licensed applicators only. In the European Union, Paracart has been forbidden since 2007. Reactivity and mode of action, paracart interferes with electron transfer, a process that is common to all life. It is an electron acceptor in redox and radical reactions. As an herbicide, paracart acts by inhibiting photosynthesis. In light-exposed plants, it accepts electrons from photosystem I and transfers them to molecular oxygen. In this manner, destructive reactive oxygen species are produced. In forming these reactive oxygen species, the oxidized form of paracart is regenerated, and is again available to shunt electrons from photosystem I to start the cycle again. Paracart is often used in science to catalyze the formation of reactive oxygen species, more specifically, the superoxide-free radical. Paracart will undergo redox cycling in vivo, being reduced by an electron donor such as NADPH, before being oxidized by an electron receptor such as dioxygen to produce superoxide, a major ROS. With resistance management, Problems with herbicide-resistant weeds may be addressed by applying herbicides with different modes of action, along with cultural methods such as crop rotation, in integrated weed management systems. Paracart, with its distinctive mode of action, is one of few chemical options that can be used to prevent and mitigate problems with weeds that have become resistant to the very widely used non-selective herbicide glyphosate. One example is the double knock system used in Australia. Before planting a crop, weeds are sprayed with glyphosate first, then followed 7 to 10 days later by a paracart herbicide. Although twice as expensive as using a single glyphosate spray, the double knock system is an important resistance management strategy widely relied upon by farmers. Nevertheless, herbicide resistance has been seen for both herbicides in Western Australia. A computer simulation showed that with alternating annual use between glyphosate and paracart, only one field in five would be expected to have glyphosate-resistant annual ryegrass after 30 years, 
compared to nearly 90% of fields sprayed only with glyphosate. A double knock regime with paracarat cleaning up after glyphosate was predicted to keep all fields free of glyphosate resistant ryegrass for at least 30 years. Paracarat pot, during the late 1970s, a controversial program sponsored by the U.S. government sprayed paracarat on cannabis fields in Mexico. Since much of this cannabis was subsequently smoked by Americans, the U.S. government's paracarat pot program stirred much debate. Perhaps in an attempt to deter people from using cannabis, representatives of the program warned that spraying rendered the crop unsafe to smoke. However, a 1995 study found that no lung or other injury in cannabis users has ever been attributed to paracarat contamination. Also a United States Environmental Protection Agency manual states, Toxic effects caused by this mechanism have been either very rare or non-existent. Most paracarat that contaminates cannabis is pyrolyzed during smoking to diperidyl, which is a product of combustion of the leaf material itself and presents little toxic hazard. Toxicity, pure paracarat, when ingested, is highly toxic to mammals, including humans, potentially leading to acute respiratory distress syndrome. Although there are no specific antidotes, fuller's earth or activated charcoal is an effective treatment if taken in time. There have been some successful cases of using cyclophosphamide to treat paracarat poisoning. Death may occur up to 30 days after ingestion. Diluted paracarat used for spraying is less toxic. Thus, the greatest risk of accidental poisoning is during mixing and loading paracarat for use. In acute toxicity studies using laboratory animals, paracarat has been shown to be highly toxic by the inhalation route and has been placed in toxicity category I for acute inhalation effects. However, the EPA has determined that particles used in agricultural practices are well beyond the respirable range and therefore inhalation toxicity is not a toxicological end point of concern. Paracarat is toxic by the oral route and moderately toxic by the dermal route. Paracarat will cause moderate to severe eye irritation and minimal dermal irritation, and has been placed in toxicity categories 2 and 4 respectively for these effects. Even a single swig, immediately spat out, can cause death from fibrous tissue developing in the lungs, leading to asphyxiation. One of the characters in the infamous British public information film Apaches dies hours after accidentally swallowing a small amount. The paracarat in the film is contained in a receptacle similar to a whiskey bottle. According to the Centers for Disease Control, ingesting paracarat causes symptoms such as liver, lung, heart, and kidney failure within several days to several weeks that can lead to death up to 30 days after ingestion. Those who suffer large exposures are unlikely to survive. Chronic exposure can lead to lung damage, kidney failure, heart failure, and oesophageal strictures. Accidental deaths and suicides from paracarat ingestion are relatively common. For example, there have been 18 deaths in Australia from paracarat poisoning since 2000. Long-term exposures to paracarat would most likely cause lung and eye damage but reproductive fertility damage was not found by the United States Environmental Protection Agency in their review. Equals use in suicide and murder equals, a large majority of fatalities from paracarat poisoning are suicides, which occur mostly in developing countries. For instance, in Samoa from 1979 a Euro 2001, 70% of suicides were by paracarat poisoning. Trinidad and Tobago is particularly well known for its incidence of suicides involving the use of gramoxone. In southern Trinidad, particularly in Penal, Deb from 1996 a Euro 1997, 76% of suicides were by paracarat, 96% of which involved the overconsumption of alcohol such as rum. Fashion celebrity Isabella Blow committed suicide using paracarat in 2007. Paracarat is widely used as a suicide agent in third world countries because it is widely available at low cost. Further, the toxic dose is low. Campaigns exist to control or even ban paracarat, and there are moves to restrict its availability by requiring user education and the locking up of paracarat stores. The indiscriminate paracarat murders, which occurred in Japan in 1985, were carried out using paracarat as a poison. Paracarat, 
as the weed killer Gramoxone, was used in the UK in 1981 by Susan Barber to poison the gravy of her husband Michael's pie. She was convicted of murder in November 1982, maintaining throughout that she had not intended to kill him. Equals Parkinson's disease equals, in 2011, a U.S. National Institutes of Health study showed a link between paracat use and Parkinson's disease in farm workers. A co-author of the paper said that paracat increases production of certain oxygen derivatives that may harm cellular structures, and that people who used paracat, or other pesticides with a similar mechanism of action, were more likely to develop Parkinson's. Paracat-induced toxicity in rats has also been linked to Parkinson's-like neurological degenerative mechanisms. A study by the Buck Institute for Research on Aging showed a connection between exposure to paracat and iron in infancy and midlife Parkinson's in laboratory mice. Paracat is structurally similar to MPP+, a known fast-acting inducer of Parkinson's disease in primate brains. The chloride of MPP plus was sold under the trade name Cypercat. Paracat also induces oxidative stress in invertebrates such as Drosophila melanogaster. Paracat fed flies suffer early onset mortality and significant increases in superoxide dismutase activity. References Further reading, Slade, P. The Fate of Paracat Applied to Plants. Wheat Research 6, 158 DOI. 10.1111 per Joule 1365-3180.1966 TB00876 X. Smith, S. N. Lyon, A. J. E. Said, Ismail Bin. The Breakdown of Paracut and Diquat by Soil Fungi. New Phytologist 77, 735 DOI. 10.1111 per Joule 1469-8137.1976 TBO4668X. External links, Paradox Product. Sinandu Brazil. Stop Paracat. Arcola Currency Rung Von Bern. The Paracat Information Center. Syngen to Crop Protection AG. NIOSH Pogger Guide to Chemical Hazards. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Paracat in the Pesticide Properties Database, Paracat Dichloride in the Pesticide Properties Database.